You actually, before we go on to that, how did, did the anti-Semitism? Did it? I mean, it obviously affected everybody in the Labour yeah. Party. It was um, a great source of shame for many people in the Labour Party. Did it feel different to you as someone of Jewish? Well, oddly not, because I, I never, I mean, I only speak for myself because I know a lot of my colleagues, especially my female colleagues, had a terrible time. But what I found was you couldn't, it was a bit like Iran, you couldn't talk about Israel. You could talk about Judaism. Mm. Now, of course, the two are completely intertwined. You go to a synagogue on a, on a Sabbath, on the Shabbat uh, service, and you have a prayer for the president of Israel and the state of Israel and a prayer for the queen and, and, and uh, Her Majesty's government um, in the UK. So Israel and the Jewish uh, faith are absolutely inextricably intertwined. But of course, in Iran, you're not allowed to talk about is Israel, but you are very, very much allowed to worship and synagogues are protected and there's a, a place in the Majlis for a Jewish MP. But you dare talk about Israel and you're in trouble. And I felt it was a bit like that. You could never be sympathetic to Israel. But I never felt threatened uh, as a Jewish man. I think a lot of my female colleagues did, though, and it was shocking. So you were elected in 1997. That 